I'm going to be talking about relationships, some few things about relationship. And I'll give you a nugget, a particular nugget that has been the key to a happy relationship or key to happy marriage. One vital, vital key that a lot of people overlook. Now, listen now. Most times, a lot of people think different things that sustains a relationship or sustains a marriage. So many people think give the man sex or give the woman sex and the marriage will be sustained. A lot of people in Africa say cook for the man or cook for the woman and the marriage will be sustained. A lot of people say as long as you give the woman money, you will have a happy marriage. But that's not true. That's not true. What makes for a wonderful relationship? What makes for a beautiful marriage? What makes for a beautiful relationship, a beautiful marriage is if the person, your your partner, your husband, your wife can listen to you. Again, I say, if your partner, your husband, your wife can listen to you. Every marriage where there is no communication does not survive. Every relationship where there is no co communication does not survive. Even our Father in heaven, he said, call upon me and I will answer you. Most women think the more as they have sex that the marriage work. It doesn't work that way. Every marriage that will last every relationship that will last your partner should be able to hear you if a man walks around and goes does whatever he does the problem is who is he listening to whom is your wife listening to whom is your husband listening to you can cook and don't talk to him, the marriage can work. You can be as beautiful as Jezebel, the marriage cannot work. You must make sure that your husband listens to you. If your husband is not listening to you, he's listening to someone, someone else. And the one he listens to controls him. This is, I'm telling you the truth. The one your spouse listens to controls him. He said, call upon me and I will answer you. I will hear you and I will answer you. Sometimes we just make the food and drop for the man and we walk away. Or sometimes I say, man, we buy clothes for the woman and we think we've done all we know how to do. Is she listening to you? Are you listening to her? You must make sure in your relationship that there is communication. Once communication breaks down, the marriage is finished. It doesn't matter. You see, most relationships, you walk into the house, you find the man is on the phone. The man is watching TV. Nothing wrong. The woman is on Facebook. The woman is what? Nothing wrong. But something is given. The relationship is always given. You must make sure, I say it again, you need to go off your way. Find out why does the man not listen to me? Are you quarrelsome? Are you shouting? Are you accusing him? Are you always on his case? Why is he not listening to me? And you find the man that goes to the office and meets a girl that is not as beautiful as you. I meet a girl that does not dress well like you, not educated as you. And the man begins to talk to the woman and the woman begins to listen. Oh, oh, that's all you hear. She's not even saying anything. But the woman is listening to him. Or the woman is talking to a man in the office and the man is listening. You must get your communication right. If a man listens to you, you keep him. If a woman listens to you, 
your keeper. I said, really listening. People are talking and walking away. People are busy and talking. People, he said, please, can I talk to you? In a lovely way. And if he's not listening, if he's on his phone, on his TV, on a, trust me, he's not hearing whatever you're saying. Ask him, when can I come back so that I can tell you some few things? I need to talk to you, please, when it's comfortable and convenient for you. You make sure you get him in a place where he can listen. I'm not saying where he can hear complain. That's not what I'm saying. The reason why men like to watch television or watch football is that the television is not accusing them. The television is not telling them how un, how unworthy they are. So they watch television and they say, ah, what what they are communi- what the, the communication that is coming from the football pleases them. The communication that is coming from the television is enjoyable to them. That's why they are listening. Why is the man on the phone? Why is the woman on the phone? What she's communicating is interesting to her. So that thing she's communicating with is taking her time and she's enjoying the communication. You must get your spouse to enjoy talking to you. Did you hear that? You must get your spouse to enjoy talking to you. I'm not talking about you putting pressure and shouting and that's not communication. That's not communication. I'm just giving you a nugget this wonderful day. Let him hear you. Let her hear you. As long as the communication is right, your relationship will last forever. When he wants to talk, don't say, what do you have to say now? Please, I'm busy. No, 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 no. Listen. When he wants to talk, Don't say, ah, you have come again with your talk. Listen. And the day you begin to raise your voice, the day you begin to take him for granted, once the relationship is not working, the first thing that suffers is your communication. Your beauty does not matter to him. Your food, he will eat your food and still get angry with you. Your dressing might be as beautiful as your dressing want to be. You can dress like uh, Mother Teresa. He's still not into you. Why? The key is your communication. Do you know why God does not talk too much to us? Because the day God opens his mouth and talks to us, you will hide. If he tells you how he feels about you, you will look for a place to hide. If he reminds you of all your sin. You, will, you can't stand it. So he says, go read my word. And his word speaks to your spirit. Are you able to communicate with the spirit of the man you are married to? Are you able to communicate with the spirit of the woman you are, you are, you are married to? Once you can get the communication right, the smile in your house, the laughter in your house, nobody can comprehend it. The key is communication. The biggest challenge God had with Adam was not that Adam sinned. No, that wasn't his challenge. When Adam said, I'm naked, he said, who told you? Who told you you are naked? Whom have you been communicating with? He said, the last time I saw you last evening, I did not mention nakedness. Now all of a sudden, you are mentioning something different to me. Who told you you are naked? Communication keeps your marriage on fire. Please listen to me, whether you're a pastor, a bishop, a prophet. If you're not communicating right with your wife, there'll be no joy in the house. If you're a prophetess, a woman of God, if you're not communicating right with your husband, there will never be peace. Even if you're not communicating right with your children, There will be problem all the time. Communication sets you free from all the pressure. Humble yourself and communicate right. See when your spouse is ready to talk. Don't jump on him. I tell my wife in the house, when Arsenal is playing, I don't want to hear you. Because what they are communicating to me on that television 
you can't communicate to me now. But once the game is over, let's talk. Are <laughs> you listening to me? Communicate right and keep your marriage intact. If you were blessed by this message from Bishop Ida Peterside, please visit our YouTube page at Bishop Ida Peterside and remember to subscribe and click the notification button to get an update on our next upload. God bless you.